The key witness in the case involving the chairman of the NDC, Samuel Fuswampofu, and deputy communications director of the NDC, uh, Kweku Bwane, has denied that uh, his own witness statement in court, according to to him, uh, he's a broadcast journalist. According to uh, Benjamin Osei, uh, Ampofo AJ, he has not seen the statement before, but accepted that the signature on the document is his. Uh, let's uh, quickly cross over and get to the court. Uh, our colleague Goffrey Tanam is there for us. Uh, Goffrey, so uh, this is very revealing. Uh, what can you say about it? Right. So uh, when the witness uh, came in and he was uh, asked to introduce himself after everything, uh, uh, he was asked uh, if uh, he's seen any document uh, before. So he wasn't very sure of uh, the document did, that the prosecution was uh, talking about. But he said that uh, before June, and uh, he wasn't too sure whether it was in May or, or not. And uh, a police officer visited him in his office and then asked him to uh, sign a document. And the document, according to the police, was an investigation they were conducting uh, in a particular case. So he signed a document without reading through whatever uh, was uh, or, or in the and I mean, the content of the document. So he signed and the police officer took it away. So that was it. So uh, prosecution presented a, a document that is a witness statement to him. And then uh, he went through it and he was asked whether he knows uh, the, or he's seen the document before. And he said that he's not seen the document before, but the signature there is his. Uh, so uh, that was where the issue came in. So after everything, uh, the prosecution decided to uh, tender in the uh, document, a witness statement, uh, as, I mean, the evidence. And uh, the uh, defense witness, Tony Lita, uh, rejected it, saying that it was wrong for the head to do that because there was supposed to be an agreement between two, the two parties to make sure that uh, this is done. So uh, after back and forth, the judge uh, ruled and then they said that the document should be tendered in, uh, in evidence. Mm. So, uh, Godfrey, I want to understand how this impacted on the case moving forward because as far as it's tendered in as evidence, it, it means that uh, the journalist cannot, in principle, detach himself from the statement, in, um, suggesting that he didn't write it. Said that uh, he doesn't know anything about it, but they agreed that it is his signature. So the judge said that as long as the witness agreed that uh, the signature there is his, there's nothing they can do. They cannot reject it. They have to accept it. All right. Uh, Goffrey Tanam, uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, that brief update. Goffrey Tanam is our reporter on the ground who is bringing us up to date with the coverage of uh, charges against NDC's uh, national chairman.